In this series of videos, we will answer the most asked technical interview questions for electrical engineers. You can ask any question in the comments down below to be answered in the next videos. Consider subscribing to Electrical Engineering Planet channel to support our community. Let's get started. The first question here is, can a transformer with ONAF cooling method run without fans and why? Well, the answer here is no, because ONAF stands for Oil Natural Air Forced. Here we use fans to force the air to flow through the radiators from outside to cool the transformer. The second question here is, what are the starting methods for three-phase induction motors? Well, we use different methods of a starting induction motor to reduce the applied voltage on the motor windings, because any induction motor suffer from high inrush current at starting. This inrush current is equal to 7 to 11 times the full load current which is too much, and will cause high voltage drop, which will cause under voltage on the system. The first method we use for small motors is direct to line method. Here we apply the full line voltage on the motor without any reduction in voltage, because the motor here is small, and the inrush current will not affect on the system. Second method is star delta method. Here we use contactors to start the motor in star connection, which will reduce the inrush current. After starting, the contactors automatically change the connection of motor to delta connection. Note that this method is used for motors designed to operate in delta connected winding. The third method is auto transformer. This is an old method. We use here a single winding transformer, which acts as primary and secondary winding at the same time. Here, the auto transformer reduces the voltage applied on the motor at starting. Then, the auto transformer will be disconnected when the motor reaches to its rated speed. Another method is stator resistor starting method. Here, we connect resistors to stator windings. To reduce the voltage applied on the stator, then we will disconnect these resistors. Also we have soft starters, which an electronic device that reduces the voltage across the stator at starting. At last we have voltage to frequency drive or variable speed drive. Here we use electronic device, which converts the three phase applied voltage into DC. Then it will convert it again into three phase AC variable voltage and variable frequency waveform. This drive decreases the voltage at starting to decrease the inrush current. The third question here is what are the types of medium voltage circuit breakers? The answer is air circuit breakers, vacuum circuit breakers, oil circuit breakers, and at last gas circuit breakers which use SF6 gas. As you can see here, we call the breakers on these names to describe the medium we use with the contacts to extinguish the electric arc during opening the contacts. What are making and breaking currents in circuit breakers? Breaking current is the level of faulted current in RMS value at which the circuit breaker can interrupt without damaging itself. Making current is the level of faulted current in RMS value at which the circuit breaker can experience at the instant of closing without any damage to itself. So the making current of circuit breaker is usually greater than the breaking current of circuit breaker. Let's walk through another question. In this circuit, calculate the current I. This is a simple question yet tricky one. We have here a DC power supply, so in normal state, the capacitor will be open circuit and the inductor will be short circuit. 
So the actual circuit here is a 10 DC voltage supply connected to a 10 ohm resistor. Using ohms law, the current I will equal to 1 amps. State the conditions of synchronization. Well, there are five conditions that must be met before the synchronization process take place between two different sources. Same line voltage, same frequency, same phase sequence, same phase angle, and at last, same waveform. What is IP or ingress protection? Ingress protection rating refers to the level of protection offered by an electrical enclosure against solids and liquids. As you can see in this table, the first number is the protection against solids, and the second number is the protection against liquids. The last question today is, draw a simple plug diagram of variable speed drive or voltage to frequency drive. We have three phase AC supply, and we will connect it to a rectifier to convert it into DC. Then we have an intermediate circuit to handle the DC source. Then we have a three phase inverter to convert the DC into a three phase AC with variable voltage and variable frequency. Please feel free to check the resources in the description down below. Consider subscribing to Electrical Engineering Planet channel to support our community. Also, don't forget to share, like, and let knowledge enlighten your world. Thanks for watching.